Go ahead. Okay, these, these are the zone valves. Each zone is marked for the area of the house that it, that it serves. Thermostat controls these. The thermostat will power and it'll open the valve. And you can see this little tally whacker that pulls open. That, that happens when the thermostat calls for heat. If it's not calling for heat, it spring closes. Should a motor go bad, you can actually bring this over, pull it forward, and lock it so that it'll stay open. And then when any other zone happens to call for heat, this will get water as well. And it'll heat that zone until someone replaces that motor. When the motor opens, there's a small switch in the back of the valve that makes contact, turns the boiler on. And it, so this thermostat calls it, powers the motor open, opens the valve, makes the end switch close, that turns the boiler on. And that's that. But it's not firing right now because no, the boiler... Holding this open will not turn the will boiler not, okay, on because, because it doesn't right. close the switch. Okay. Right. The thermostat has to power this motor and it goes a little bit farther than I can pull this. So the by pulling the switch won't start the hot water. It won't going. start it, but it opens the valve so okay. it allows flow through it should okay. another zone call. And how do you know if it's, well, you just know there's no heat. That's how you know this for that zone. That's why uh, you call the service okay. guy. Yep. And we didn't make these valves. Honeywell did, and they did a pretty good job. But these motors will fail. Yeah, well, we, we, as we well know.